about your conversion. Tell us the story, like what happened exactly. I was born in a Christian country. I was raised as a Christian and I've always been very respectful of Islam. And it's just for me, it feels like the last religion on earth. I feel like there's no other religion. People say to me, why did you convert? And I said, I don't really think, feel it as a conversion. I, it's almost like I knew God was real and now I've become religious. And they say, well, you were religious before. I was like, religious before how? Christian? Mm. What does Christian mean? Like, who's not a Christian? You go to Christian nations and everyone says they're a Christian. Look how they live their lives. Go yeah. into the average church. Is anyone actually fearful of God? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No, the girls are out on Saturday night drinking and then they turn up to church because their parents made them. Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's no substance to the religion. And also it's on, very closely reflects my personal beliefs. I, through my personal life, I've yeah. learned that if you don't have standards and you're not a strong person who's prepared to defend his ideas, you'll be crushed. And we look at most religions in the world today, which are not prepared to defend their ideas, what's happened to them? They're just getting crushed. And now we have Christianity as an idea, which has basically said, well, we can't set any firm rules because everyone will just quit. So instead, let's make it so easy to be a Christian that nobody has to put any effort in and then accept everybody no matter what. And hopefully we can keep the church doors open. <laughs> that's not, that's not yeah, God yeah. to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. God to me is, is strong. God to me is something to be feared. Yeah. God to me is something, someone that people are afraid to mock. Yeah. God to me is someone that you have to go out of your way to prove something to. God to me has red lines. Yeah. Like God to me, represents the Islamic faith. The Christian God to me, I don't see God. I, I can't explain, I don't see anything there. So yeah. to me, it was it was the only logical choice wow. in the end. They genuinely have a problem with baseline morality. There was a time I was an atheist. And the reason I am now so absolutely certain that God is real is because yeah. I've seen evil. I've seen shaitan, I've seen it. When you see enough evil, you realize that there must be an equal and opposite force. And there are people out there in the world today doing the work of the devil, genuine demons who are trying to destroy the baseline morality that's inside of all of us. We're all born with some kind of morality and they're trying to destroy it. I don't think most people understand that when they're doing this under the guise of tolerance, when they're saying be so tolerant that you no longer believe in right from wrong, they're not doing that to make society a better place. They're doing that to empty your brain so that you have no resistance to the slave mind programming. They want to yeah. get you to a point where if they tell you the sky is green, yeah. you look at it with your own eyes yeah. and you see blue, but no, the sky is green. That's what they want. So that you have to have nothing in your brain that can prevent that. If you have God, if you have no, I believe this is Good right point. and wrong. Yeah. If yeah. you have personal responsibility, if you have self accountability, mm -hmm. if you're a person who sticks up for what he believes, all that's bad to them. They want all of that gone yeah. so they can tell you the sky is green. You know, I've never been to like a music concert. And people ask me why. And I said, I just look at it and I feel embarrassed. I look at someone up on a stage dancing around and I look at hundreds of thousands of peasants in the crowd. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's embarrassing. I, I feel cringe. It's like secondhand embarrassment. When I see these festivals and everyone's losing their mind or these music concerts, I genuinely feel embarrassed for the people who go. Because to me, that is a form of worship. Like, yeah. you can listen to the music at home for free. You're like, you don't have to wait in that line and stand out in the cold. Like, I, I've always known that they're trying to give us false idols to some degree. And when I speak to atheists, atheists, they go, oh, I don't believe in God, but they, they've they signed up so hard to the liberal woke agenda. They're as religious as anybody, but they're just believing in the wrong things. They're believing in degeneracy and they're believing in the work of the devil. So humans always need something to believe in. One, one guy I was talking to since my conversion says, it's interesting that somebody with everything, all the Western world, yeah, everything, yeah. everything somebody w could want exactly. has now converted. And I said, yeah, because even before my conversion, I understood that hedonism is a black hole. Mm and you can never fill it. Mm -hmm. You're never gonna be able to have enough girls to be happy with girls. You're never gonna be able to have enough money to be happy with money. You're never yeah, gonna yeah. Be, be able to you know, drink enough to be happy with drinking. Like it's a black hole and you can pour endless things down it, but you'll never fill it up and you need to have some degree of self-restraint. And I've always been a very disciplined person. I've never made mistakes, but certainly, yeah, the higher power is, is, is gonna give you more satisfaction in your heart than endless, yeah. endless insanity. Mm -hmm. I understood all these things mm -hmm. first and then I saw the Quran and it confirmed so many things for me, you know, like I've even the conversations I've been having so far, so many things have been confirmed and it's amazing the knowledge that's inside of it, which is so applicable today for an old book, right? You know, it's supposed to be old, but it seems yeah. so, so timeless.